Waste another day, eyes on my display You say we need a change and I feel that you mean it You mean it Welcome guys back to another video Um, It's good to see you all back again So as you may know, I created a previous video about the OJ And it got 9k views Thank you to every single one of you that did go and watch it. If you didn't go and watch it, then I guess you're seeing a better version anyway. So you're, I don't know what I was going to say. But anyway, um, thank you very much for that. This video, <clears throat> sorry, this video, we're going more in depth into uh, Polecat. We're going to go more in depth into DOJ itself. And the staffing, the um, behind the scenes basically of the OJ that you would never ever know about or ever see. Um, so you need to stay tuned for all of the juicy, juicy, juicy bits. So, in this video, I want to try and get 500 subscribers. I have never set a... No, sorry, not 500 subscribers. 500 likes on this video. I've never set a like goal, um, and it would just be amazing to set a like goal right now and just see if we can get to it. Also, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. Um, I know a lot of you are not subscribed, and I can see it, you know, so I can see everything. But anyway, let's get into this video, but make sure you do stay around because we're going to have some juicy, juicy stuff for you. Right, so, if you don't know, DOJ is a roleplay server, it's on the 5M, uh, so I don't, if you don't know what 5M is, it's basically a application that you can download from Google, or something like that, and it's run by someone that is named Polecat324, and he is a YouTuber with around a million subscribers, and I wanted to join the server back in 20... 18 I want to say it was around April time so one day I sat down and I was like hmm you know I'm just gonna go on the website and just start applying I went on the website and I started applying for communications department as I didn't have a gaming PC and it was very nerve-wracking like just doing that whole process and then it was like I got declined um, two times and then I got accepted into my interview. I got the interview done straight away. But let me just tell you right now. It is a nightmare waiting for an interview. Like the DOJ FTOs, which is a field training officer, or FTAs, which is a field training assistant, are so slow at doing interviews. It's absolutely insane. They take so long. Like at least three days it takes you to try and get an interview but yeah i managed to get one eventually which was cool um and then after my interview and i was accepted a red admin which is a red administrator came along and basically gave me the doj uh, ts password gave me access to the uh discord servers and stuff like that basically so they give you all the access but if i wanted to i could tell you the password that i was given but it's no use because it won't work uh because they change it all the time just so that basically you, no one that was in doj or is in doj can just go oh let me just type in the password even if you're in there you can if you lose the bookmark you have to go back into the interview server and get back in again so it's a nightmare you don't want to do it you don't want to lose it uh after that I had a lovely, lovely time in communications department. Let me just tell you, they are probably the nicest people in DOJ. I made loads of friends in communications. Every single person in there is absolutely so funny. They're the most funniest people that you would get along with. Like, I'm not saying anyone else isn't funny, but like, we chill in Discord in the discord server while obviously dispatching and when there's no radio communication going on or the server's just not really 
up there at the moment. We'll literally just sit there and we will just chat. And let me just tell you, it it was a fun experience in communications and I would not change it for the world. Like, I had such an amazing time. I became an advanced operator. I became a 911 EMD, which is emergency medical dispatching. And I became a TAC operator, which is basically tactical, um, which deals with SIU, high priority calls, uh, signal 100 switches, basically civilian priorities. Uh, and then obviously you've got the most exciting bit that everyone thinks, which is obviously a polecat patrol. It's called a polecat patrol, legit. Uh, that's what they call it. I don't know why. Uh, I guess because polecat's just special. Um, so that's what they call it. It's called a PC patrol, technically. Uh, and what would happen is if anyone's seen his live streams, he would normally type in the general chat, uh, at operator, can I get a dispatcher to an NS, which would stand for server, and then followed by a number 1234564 or X. And then a dispatcher would go along and basically dispatch for it. I managed to dispatch for two PC patrols. Uh, both of them times I was literally dispatching for a server. And he came into the channel I was in. Um, yeah, when Polecat joins it tends to change from being really quiet to really high up there. So it's good to have a secondary dispatcher along with you. Which normally takes the 911s and helps with the calls while you do most of the vocal work. Which is obviously talking and communicating with the units, getting them staged at locations and stuff like that. Obviously, we had access to a live map, which is basically a website where we would look where all the units are. And if there was a situation going on, we could get them to spread around the building or stuff like that, basically. It's really cool when you get involved in that kind of way. Especially if you don't have a game in PC, it's good that DOJ allows people to do that. But once I was like, okay, I actually want to get in there and see what like, see what they do. Like it's really cool. So I wanted to join as a Leo. So I joined the PCSO department, and I transferred from communications into PCSO. And I was in BCSO for a while. I joined a uh, wildlife department while I was in there. So it was pretty much me just chilling on my ATV, uh, riding up mountains and just jumping off. Definitely wasn't jumping off. <laughs> I can say it now anyway, because I'm not in DOJ. They can't do nothing about it. But yeah, if a DOJ staff member saw you just plow off a mountain, you'd get in trouble. But where's the fun in not plowing off a mountain at like 80 miles per hour? Okay, yeah, I probably broke my neck, but oh well, never mind. But obviously, yeah, if a, if a DOJ staff member was spectating you and they saw you do it, you would get in a lot of trouble. You would just get pulled to, like, a staff room and get issued with a 1090, which is an in-game warning. It's actually really sad, but it's always, always fun. Um, also, another thing that I met, forgot to mention, which is a 10-3, which comes into the communications department, but also comes into Leo department because it works with both of them. A 10-3 is a radio hold. You may have heard it if you watch uh, DOJ live streams or stuff like that. You'll hear someone say, can I get a 10-3 in effect? And all, this, all the media members in DOJ will silence their headset, which means you can't hear what's being said and you can't hear them speaking back if they're a supervisor. Basically, what a 10-3 is, it's a radio hold, and basically, all they're saying is telling units off for self-attaching to calls, such as priorities, because once a priority kicked off in DOJ, you would have every single unit on the live map just plowing for it. It used to be so funny as a communications operator, just see them plowing for it. Um, and that's basically why a 10 goes into effect, because they don't want their media members to allow to have that on their stream it's a bit weird but yeah that's what a 10 is for basically staff members just telling the server off as a group not an individual so it means if the server has done something wrong as a group they would get a 10 in effect if an individual person done something wrong they would go to the staff room and be dealt with by a staff member etc 
Um, but that is why 10 frees are never heard by viewers of DOJ media members. It's really cool to see the uh, units just going for the uh, pursuit. But as an operator myself, we used to have the training to basically look at the pursuit that's going on and we could see how many units were attached to it and how many units were heading towards it so as soon as i was like listening for people saying that they're attaching as it was going past them after four times you hear it you basically just say okay no more no more units need to attach now we have sufficient units on the pursuit everyone else can just stay where they are and just get ready for uh, tactical maneuvers such as um, pits, spikes, and stuff like that. Which, they're more handy doing that than just chasing after a car. Like, <laughs> but it is fun. Because you feel like you're involved. But then I switched from BCSO after a few months to SAHP. Um, I was in BCSO and I met someone called Ben who was in SAHP as a, when I was wildlife, and he was in uh, SAHP, and he was telling me about SAHP, and I was like, oh my god, that sounds really cool, I want to do it, I want to transfer, so as soon as the opportunity came up, I was like, right, let's transfer, I transferred to SAHP, I got accepted, and then I joined the Baco department, which is the same department that Ben was in, which is uh, Bureau Air and Coastal Operations, which deal with aircraft, ATVs, and coastal, which is obviously boats, uh, which was basically the same as wildlife, but a little bit more fun. I got to do a lot of cool stuff in Baco. Give me a second to just have a little bit of my energy drink. So I am actually drinking a Rockstar. So, in Baco, it was the only department within DOJ that you can run air units solo, which means if you wanted to go up in an aircraft, you had to have a TFO in um, LSPD and BCSO. A TFO is a tactical flight officer. They would be sitting in the passenger seat of the aircraft. In Baco, we only need a pilot, which was obviously the person controlling it, which would have been me. I loved doing it. It was amazing because every time a pursuit happened, if you're the only aircraft that can activate and it's in your jurisdiction, pretty much you've got that pursuit. Like, and you would race code free to the um, airspace and just get the aircraft, spawn it in, do your checks and go. Get in the camera, be all ready. I managed to catch a lot of criminals in DOJ with my aircraft and it was a lot of fun, I tell you. Um, the amount of people that you saw and the amount of enjoyment that I just had from being in the aircraft I didn't even want to be in the car like what's the point in me being in a car that's topping out at 200 roughly chasing a criminal and probably crashing and killing myself like in game then being in an aircraft where I can follow that pursuit until I run out of fuel basically which was a lot of fun when obviously you're low on fuel and there's no other aircraft to activate you just have to try and get back to an airbase and get back again and hope that they haven't lost them. The amount of times that I have lost someone because the units, I blame the units because I run out of fuel, so what can I do? And like, there's a script in the 5M that DOJ has that if your aircraft runs out of fuel, it will literally fall out of the sky and you would fall into anything. And if I fell, out the aircraft or I fell out the sky because I ran out of fuel. It means I had to do paperwork, which it wasn't really fun. Uh, I think once it happened to me and I was actually with Ben, he was flying and yeah, he ran out of fuel and <laughs> we didn't make it to the airfield, but it was a lot of fun. Um, then what happened was I switched to civilian. Obviously that's where I then got the ability to create the scenes for the leos do the priorities and stuff like that obviously creating the priorities and running from them uh for different reasons which would be bank robberies or 
murders was a lot of fun. We pretty much made a hitman kind of character, which technically we shouldn't have, but, you know, doesn't really matter. Um, and, yeah. Civ was fun until you were reaching, like, a certain point, and then it just seemed like the staff were like, hmm. Like, they were, like, starting to try and see what you were doing wrong and just pick out little things that I didn't see when I was in Leo um, being picked out and they were like telling me off for one thing, telling me off for another. I had loads of recordings like from just being in the uh, staff room and really I shouldn't be recording from in, in the staff room because they're recording but it's called I don't care. So yeah if I do ever find those recordings, let me just tell you, they will be published to YouTube, DOJ. I will publish them and shame all of your staff members. Because the way that DOJ staff speak to you is like you are a piece of shit on their shoe. Pretty much. Um, so, yeah. If I ever find those recordings, I will show you them. Um, I will try and find them and publish them. If I don't find them, then unfortunately I won't be able to. But I have changed PC over the time. That's why I lost them. And that's why I wish I'd done this like video and my previous video well before. So then I would have had those recordings. But we plow on, we go through. Um, obviously the most exciting thing that everyone wants to know is, yes, I have been pulled over by Polcat in uh, DOJ. I have, no, I don't have, but there's three videos on Polecat's channel, uh, which is Polecat324, of me. So I am famous now, guys. I am famous, you know. I have been seen by over a million people. I now class myself as famous. I really don't. I'm not famous at all. But yeah, I have been in three, the, three Polecat videos, uh, and that's just him pulling me over. And one was a pursuit, actually, let me correct myself. Yeah, one was a pursuit. Uh, the other two was not a pursuit, it was just a normal traffic stop. But yeah, it's very hard. You have to be in the server when Polecat joins. Or you're not getting in, because once Polecat joins, he sets out an announcement in the team speak, and everyone will just, like, go to the server give him content um so yeah it's pretty hard to kind of get in there once he is in there if you wasn't already in there but luckily enough for me i think the three times that i did get pulled over by him i didn't know he joined like i was literally just driving around doing my civ stuff just minding my own business just doing breaking little laws like um red lights, maybe speeding a little, just making up little stories as I go along, and I think I went flying past the, um, Polito Bay headquarters, which is, like, the station there, and I was racing with someone up the Great Ocean Highway, so if you don't know GTA, you won't know where I'm on about, and I do apologise to you people that don't know where I'm on about, and, uh, my friend was actually in a really fast car, so he was ahead of me most of the time. And I think Polecat must have saw him go flying past. And the thing is, I then went flying after him, and he saw me coming. So, like, he was sitting at the red light, and then he chased after me. So I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> like, I could have continued, to be honest. And I think I did run from him. um, Because, obviously, we were racing, like... Already, I was going over a hundred. I'm going to get arrested. So, yeah. In real life, obviously, if that happened, don't run from cops, guys. And stop for cops. I don't endorse uh, running from police. But let me just say, this was not real life. And it was all fake, but not fake. Obviously, it's a roleplay server. That's what a roleplay server is, if you didn't know. Eventually, yes, I received a 1090, which was an in-game warning, a 1093, and I got suspended from all DOJ assets for three days, which is basically a temp ban. Uh, and then I was in a Sosa Vinci stream, which I mentioned in the other video, 
which is where I then got banned from the OJ permanently by head administration, i.e. Polka. But yeah, that is basically the story on DOJ. If there's anything you want to know about DOJ, comment it down below and let me know what it is. Also, subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications and drop a like. I forgot what I was going to say, but I think I said drop a like at the start. We're hitting, we're going to hit 500 guys, or we're going to try. All right. Also, go check out my cousin. King Aaron TV links gonna be in the description and I will see you guys very soon unless there's anything else I need to add to this video that you will see in a minute but other than that guys you stay happy you stay peaceful and look after yourselves and don't join DOJRP and also go check out my socials down there peace